In this section, we will be learning about cumulative percentage distribution and percentiles. You may recall that by looking at the cumulative entry for 6, you see that 13 students scored below 7. Now, we can look at the CRF or the cumulative relative frequency entry for 6 to see that a score of 7 beats 0.52 or a little more than half of the class which is you can compute when you would be dividing 13 by 25 that is equal to 0.52 so when you would be multiplying it by a hundred it is equal to 52 percent now a score of six however beats only 0.24 when you look into the cumulative relative frequency entry for five or we could say about one-fourth of the class sometimes people find it more convenient to work with percentages if you want a cumulative percentage frequency or CPF you need only to multiply each cumulative relative frequency entry by a hundred so as you can see on the table, a score of 7 is better than the scores of 52% of the class. And also, a score of 6 beats only 24% of the scores. Moving on, the entries from the CPF column or the cumulative percentage frequency column have a special name. They are called percentile ranks or PR. By convention, a percentile rank is defined as the percentage of the group that is at or below a given score. So to find the percentile rank of a particular score, we look straight at the cumulative percentage frequency. With reference to the table that you are also seeing this time, the percentile rank of a score of 7 is 64, meaning 64% of the group scored 7 or below. Similarly, the per percentile rank for 6 is 52, meaning 52% of the group scored 6 or below. Instead of being concerned with the percentage at or below a particular score, sometimes you may want to focus on a particular percentage and find the score that has that percentile rank. For instance, before seeing the results of the diagnostic quiz, you, as the professor of the statistics class, might decide that the bottom 20% of the class must receive some remedial training on algebra regardless of their actual scores on the quiz. That is, whether the whole class does well or poor poorly, whoever is in the bottom 20% will have to get help. In this case, a score of 4 has a percentile rank of 20. So that is the score that we are interested in. The score is called the 20th percentile. Anyone with this score or a lower score will have to get help or training in algebra. Remember, a percentile can be defined as a score that has a given percentile rank. Now, the 25th percentile is a score whose percentile rank is 25. In other words, a percentile is the score at or below which a given percentage of the group falls. The most interesting percentiles are 
either quartiles like for example 25%, 50%, or 75%. Or the deciles. Example, the 10%, 20%, 30%, 40%, etc. Unfortunately, these convenient percentiles rarely appear as entries in the CPF. In our example, the only convenient percentile is the 20th percentile. The score of 6 comes close to 50th percentile, which is 52%. And the score of 5 is a good approximation for the 25th percentile. On the other hand, the 75th percentile is almost exactly midway between 7 and 8.